Dear learner, welcome in my lecture of web technology. Today I will discuss HTML frames and frame set frame attributes nested frame sets. I am Dr. Asutosh Kumar Bhatt, Associate Professor, School of Computer Science and IT, Uttarakhand Open University, Haldwani. So, first of all, the learning objective of this lecture is to understand the basics of HTML markup language to create frame in HTML and frame tag. Uh, in previous lecture, we have discussed about introduction to hyperlink, hyperlinks example, link to the same document and many more other related topics of hyperlinking. So first of all, HTML. So HTML is an acronym which stands for Hypertext Markup Language, which is used to create web page and web application. So it is very important that uh, always we develop any web page by HTML, Hypertext Markup Language. Hypertext simply means text within text. A text has a link within it is a hypertext. When we have text inside text, then it is called hypertext. Whenever you click on a link, brings you a new web page and you have to click on the hypertext. So uh, the link will be, will be shown in the blue color and as we will click on that link, it will open the new hypertext and new page also. Markup language. And on the other hand, markup language is a computer language that is used to apply layout and information convention to a text document. So this is markup language and it is used to apply layout and formatting. Formatting is very uh, important for any web page. So we have to set the format as well as the layout in different different layout we can set. So this is done by markup language on the text document. Hypertext markup language, finally, this hypertext markup language is specially created to make worldwide web pages, means www pages will be developed especially by creating this by this uh, hypertext markup language. HTML is a web page layout language. So using HTML, we can layout the web page and hyperlink is specification language we can, we can also set the hyperlink we can link other page also and we can create a static website by html only so uh, this html is especially for this static website for dynamic website we have to use javascript and other scripting language also so this is html and always when we start a program in HTML, when we write a program in HTML, then the name of file will be, default name of file will be index.html. So this is the first file, always the first file name will be index.html. So you have to remember this fact that index.html is a first file, which uh, is uh, related to any web page or website. And first tag is HTML and last tag is slash HTML. So indicate that you are starting the HTML document if HTML is written inside the less than and greater than sign. So this means it is the starting tag and last tag, same tag will be the last tag but slash will be prefixed before HTML. Indicate that you are ending the HTML document. So this is the view of HTML document, HTML and slash HTML. And in between the two HTML tags, we have encapsulated head portion, head and slash head. So this is related to heading and inside heading we have title. Title transaction studio, it will be shown on the title bar of the page. So this is, there are three tags here, HTML tag, head tag for heading, title tag for showing the title. Transaction studio will be the title. Now. The another part of the HTML program, the first part is the head part and the second part is the body part. So uh, you can see in this program, 
the first portion is the heading portion head portion and the second portion is the body portion and inside body the whole program will be encapsulated inside the body portion so heading 1 heading 2 paragraph so we will write here so h1 is for the heading 1 this is the big heading and h2 this is the smaller heading so we have mentioned this sentence here and p related to the paragraph this is the example of paragraph p slash p so in between uh, body tag we have mentioned these two heading and one paragraph and uh, we can write whole program whole web page inside the body tag and this body tag body tag uh, that all tags that appear on a page must be encapsulated within a body tag so the whole tags will be encapsulated within inside the body tag and suppose we have to dis display some command so we will have this uh, bottom line you can see so here uh, less than sign then exclamation sign double dash and multiple line we can write of this command so this is example of command and same way we will close it so this is for uh, command line now again hypertext markup language it is a web authoring software language and created by Tim Bernard Lee in 1993 from HTML. so initially it was HTML, and later on it will be hypertext markup language and today we have newer version of the HTML HTML5 so uh, we can do more uh, than the initial days HTML HTML files are text file basically when we write any HTML program so we have to write text files and contain markup text it contain markup text text direct how page is to be displayed by the browser so tag will uh, tag will direct uh, accordingly and it can be created for a simple text editor the html program we will write inside the simple text edit editor editor of uh, ms dos and editor of vi editor of uh, this uh, uh, unix as well as we can write notepad also so the file extension will be will be a dot stm or must be dot stm or dot html so we have to remember these facts also creating a html file uh, again see the notepad wordpad or a simple text editor or mac so it will be used for writing the html program and the file will be saved index.html the first file will be saved index.html and this is the typical default title of the home page and we can say the, the first page that is index.html and it is also called home page and file of extension .htm. okay so uh, now i am talking about the frame set so uh, when we will write suppose this is the uh, way how to write the program the program the first portion of the program is head portion and the second portion is the body portion so we will write whole program inside the body portion now see uh, suppose we have to display uh, the screen into different different parts you can see here uh, in this screen we have uh, two columns first column and the second column is divided into three parts so this is this is one kind of program uh, again you can see here the screen is divided into two parts so uh, here screen is divided into two parts into two row two rows two rows here two columns so you can see the output here so uh, uh, sub, this type of this type of page how we will develop this type of uh, page so it is important uh, because one page having multiple multiple frames multiple uh, pages so here one two three four suppose we have to add four different pages in one home page so how we will add it so we need to uh, understand uh, the frame set and frame so this is this uh, for this type of output we require frame as well as frame set so first of all we have to divide it into two columns so you can see here the program accordingly the right side program is also there and uh, uh, the frame set columns 100 comma uh, star 100 100 comma star so uh, there are two columns columns here 100 not 100 it should be it should be 20 percent 20 comma asterisk it should be so uh, 20 is the left side and uh, 80 percent is the right side so the first column will be 20 percent and second column will be uh, it will be uh, the rest 80 percent so in in, pay, in place of star we can write uh, 
एट्टी परसेंट और वी कैन राइट हियर एज इट इज वी विल राइट द एस्टिक साइन बट फर्स्ट वी हैव टू मैंशन द फर्स्ट विल बी ट्वेंटी परसेंट सो द ट्वेंटी परसेंट इज द लेफ्ट कॉलम नाउ वी हैव डिवाइडेड टू कॉलम एंड द फर्स्ट कॉलम विच इज विच विच विल बी फर्दर नॉट डिवाइडेड इन टू सब फ्रेम्स सो इट इज इट इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट where we are dis displaying the one dot html frame src equals to one dot html so one dot html we have suppose we have pre already prepared one dot html file so this one dot html file will be displayed on first column so this is for first column first column not further divided it is completely this this frame will display one dot html file now the second column is divided into three part so i have given here output as well as the program so the second part frame set rows equals to 75% 150 and asterisk so we have mentioned here uh, the second part is mentioned here you can write it as uh, you can see here the first part is 20% looking like 20% and second one is suppose uh, suppose it is uh somehow it is 40% so uh, 20 plus 40 60% and last uh, part last bottom part is a 40% so 40 40 and 20 the first one is the 20% 40% and 40 40% so frame set row equals to 20% comma 40% comma 40% or we can write 20% comma 40% comma asterisk so rest is asterisk so uh, the third part uh, we can denote by the asterisk sign so this this uh, line could be written like that frame set rows so row will be divided into three part and frame src 2 dot html you can see uh, the 2 dot html file will be display on the first part and 3 dot html frame src 3 dot html it will be display in the middle part means second part and 4 dot html will be displayed as the bottom part so this way we have three frame here in second column in first column completely we are displaying one dot html one frame so total we have four html file so four html file we are displaying in four 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 different different frames and uh, uh, it will be closed by frame set row will be closed by slash frame set and frame set column will be again closed by the slash frame set so this is program and this is output you can see uh, left side is the output and right side is the program now see one more program one more uh, screen here so here we are again dividing the screen into two parts the first part is the 35% and second part is the uh, 65% so simply i am writing one line frame set columns equals to 35% comma 65% and slash frame set so uh, by writing this line the screen will be divided into two columns two parts for, and first column is uh, having 35% space and the second column having uh, 65% space so this is again one example uh, dividing screen into two columns now uh, dividing screen into two uh, two rows so here you can see frame set rows equals to 60% comma asterisk means the second part it, we have not mentioned here so rest part is the uh, asterisk means 40% will be the second part 60% comma 40% or 60% comma asterisk so uh, it will display the first uh, upper row is uh, is having the space of 60% and the second row having the space 40% so uh, asterisk can be written here and we can write asterisk comma asterisk suppose we have mentioned here frame set row equals to asterisk comma asterisk so it will automatically divide into uh, screen into two rows uh, but the size of both row will be same so 50% 50% or we will write asterisk comma asterisk so this frame set created by the following following row so this is the line so by writing this line we can divide screen into two different rows so uh, uh, the learning outcome after listening this lecture uh, the learning outcome of this lecture uh, is learner will be able to create frame in html and how to use frame tag in html and in next lecture we will discuss about the practical implementation of 
frame set tag column and frame set tag row border margin and scroll scrolling so thank you learner thank you very much so next lecture we will discuss again the advanced concept of this frame set thank you very much